sounds so simple, but that love and kindness will heal the world. Trying something new and super excited to keep you guys updated. I'm keeping it real with you. I think I even have dirt on my face. Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful, beautiful Sunday morning. And um, yeah, I'm just outside. Every morning I've been doing like a garden walk and just checking on everything. Steven actually beat me to the watering today, so I don't have to water anything. But um, we only hand water what the sprinklers don't hit, um, which is just a couple things. So. It's been a while since I've made a video, and the reason for that is I thought we all just needed a little time and space to process. And I've had a lot of time to think and take action. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have shared a lot of information. I've gone to rallies and protests. I have um, donated. I have called legislation. I have done um, many things, as well as just read books to make myself more informed and more educated so I can do more and um, speak up more. And what I've just named for you are multiple ways to take action. And I think for some people, not all those ways fit. I read a beautiful post of like, some people are donating quietly, some are listening, some are educating themselves, some are rallying and protesting, some are doing this, some are doing that, and that there are all different lanes of activism, and you do the one or ones that fit you or feel right or that you're compelled to do, for me, um, that's what I felt compelled to do. And I think right now, we have to understand that people process and respond in different ways. And I think now more than ever, we need to just show love and grace and kindness to everyone and allow them the space and the time to take the actions or fill the lane that they need to fill. You know that over on Instagram, I've been sharing a lot of information or just resources to educate yourself and I thought what better way than to leave a link of resources in every video um, from here on out um, for multiple causes that we need to be more educated around and right now I'm going to continue to edit them and revise them as I go but there are things that will fill every lane but what we cannot let happen is in a couple weeks that names are no longer spoken of and things are forgotten because that's what we've done and that it has not worked and we need to continue to speak up and fight for what is right. This is not a political thing. And I think that's what has kind of stung the most. I've gotten so many comments around like, why are you making this political? Why are you politicizing this? To me, this is not a political thing. This is a human rights issue. Um, and I believe that Every good human being wants everybody to be treated equally and fairly and justly and for everyone to feel safe going to the corner store. This is just being a good, decent human being who wants the same for everyone. That's what it is. So give people grace, give people kindness. Seek more to understand and support them where they are than to be offended by what they say. Um, to show love and kindness. It sounds so simple, but that love and kindness will heal the world. All right, let's head inside. This morning, I have a new routine to start, and I've been holding off on starting it until we could all do it together. But I have something sent to me, so let's go ahead and unbox it. I was fortunate enough to be reached out by Timmy and they sent me the detox starter kit. So I wanted to unbox this with you um, and get started on this. It's a 30 day process. So I'm gonna do my first initial thoughts right now. Then halfway through, I'm gonna do like a little update and then I'll do like a 30 day review. But I'm super excited. This is the detox starter pack. Their packaging is awesome. Like it's a little magnetic box, totally reusable. Um, so first thing is this tumbler on the go. Let's go ahead and check this out. They put a little compartment on the bottom of your tumbler. So like you could throw like your gym pass in there um, because mine's just a little tag. You could throw like vitamins, 
um, a sweetener, if, like packs if you wanted to. You could really like throw anything in there, which I find really awesome. I love that idea of like having that little compartment there. I love it, I love it so much. And then, aww. All right, so. The 30 day detox plan. Drink the teeny skinny tea in the morning, best before breakfast to boost your metabolism, raise your energy and suppress cravings naturally. Reuse your teeny leaves at least one to three times. So like in one serving, you can reuse those leaves one to three times. That's awesome. Drink six to eight glasses of water throughout the day, totally doable. And then at night, you take teeny colon before bed starting on day two of your detox program. So not today. We save that one for later. That one's already pre-bagged. Um, steep it for one to three minutes and then steep it longer as you continue. They sent a 30 day tracker with it so you could check off each day so you know exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Cause you only do this, the colon one two days a week. That's genius. So today I'm just doing the tea. And they also, how wonderful. They also sent me a little tea steeper. I never know what to call them, but it's, that is adorable. I love it. They were super kind and they offered me a discount code Allen25, you can get 25% off your order. I left a link down below. I left the code down below. You can do all of that. Um, so I'm super excited to be working with them and really testing out their products and giving you like a really honest review of them and see the benefits that come up with the first 30 days of this. So super, super pumped. While my tea is going, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the tumbler so I can use it because I really, really like it and I think it's super cute. So I'm gonna clean out the tumbler, uh, get ready to steep my tea. I might actually just steep it in a Pyrex, um, like large measuring cup like this. Trying something new and super excited to keep you guys updated and super excited to be working with Teeny. Once again, discount code Allen25. If you wanna join the journey with me, let's do this. I love that this tumbler is double walled so it doesn't get hot. So you can easily like take it with you on the go. All right, I oh, can't wait to give this a taste. Like it's not too strong. It just tastes like very herbal and clean and fresh. I really like it. I'm sometimes weird about some teas um, without any like sweetener or anything added to it, but this is really good. It's nice and mild and it feels very balanced. All right, I'm gonna drink this, I'm gonna do my devotions and then we'll catch up. I realized that I forgot to water this and the sprinklers don't hit this little section, but now the sun is out. So I'm gonna be really cautious and just water the base of the plant and get as close as I can to the, the root ball um, because you don't wanna water on top because the sun will reflect and it will actually hurt the leaves. Um, I gotta share with you guys because um, I do have a lot of spaces I need to water. I been following garden answer and she shared this three gallon watering can the plastic is so light that it actually doesn't get too heavy but it has been a game changer and i love it happy father's day to all the dads out there i truly believe that parenting is one of the toughest jobs there is whether you're a mother whether you're a father it's just like the most selfless probably one of the most underpraised jobs steven <laughs> jokingly because i am a father to a fur baby 
Um, he got me the patchouli diptyque candle for Father's Day. He had it beautifully wrapped and it was delivered. Um, it smells really good too. But he's like, I got you a Father's Day gift. Let me tell you what is big on my list of things to do. So my parents are gonna be coming around the 4th of July now that things are reopening. And this room, their room, has literally, it looks a mess. Um, it has become like a catch-all for like every piece of furniture I've moved out of a space. So it no longer really goes with anything. What we're doing is that TV is actually getting mounted on the wall this week, but I need to make some changes in here. Literally that reindeer deer is a Christmas decoration and I've never taken it down. So we are going to shop our house because I don't want to spend a dime in redecorating it because it's only used when my parents are here. So what we're going to do is we're going to scour the house and find everything that we could possibly use. We're gonna put it here. We're going to redecorate this room. I'm literally dripping sweat. Um, the reason is, is I have basically carried all the furniture that was in here down two flights and then moved other furniture. Um, I'm keeping it real with you. This might be my workout today. Let me flip you around and show you what I've done so far. I removed all the furniture that was in here previously except for this. What I'm thinking is I wanna bring in a lot more like warmth and neutrals around this space because it's so gray, it doesn't go with the house. So the one thing I am thinking of purchasing is a warmer, like camely colored drapes for this room if I can find something that's perfect. What I've done so far is this is a piece that we used to have in our living room before we bought our sectional. It's from Pottery Barn. It's so high quality and it's not been used. And like, look how beautiful that top is. So I moved that in here. I love the mix of that wooden lamp. And then I moved this from my office because it also brings in like that warmer tone. I need to move it over a little bit. And it gives enough balance because I don't like matchy matchy nightstands for the most part. Um, I like to mix them up and they still kind of really cohesively go together. And now I'm just thinking about how to accessorize the space. So this is what I was able to find scouring the house. So I have a lot of options. That large basket, I think I want to replace with that mirror to bring in like more warmth and then yeah all right i'm gonna just start playing with this and then get back to three pieces of art it is so hard to get them even so i want to share a quick tip with you i grabbed a piece of painter's tape and now i'm going to hang my center one and just space out my other two with nails and then pull take them back down pull the tape off they're done so there i have them all evenly spaced they're all level with each other and now i can just pull the tape off and yeah they're good to go here i am with the bedroom so far i do need to take some painters tape and tape those lamp cords to the bottom of the table that way i you don't see the wires and i hate wires let me show you what i've done one thing i love to do is hang a picture in a non-traditional spot. So most people would put this up high, but I love the fact that it's a little hidden. You have to move to read the whole thing. It makes like more of an experience, but I also like that it looks more layered. And then just accessorize with some things I had laying around the house. And then over here, I took this bench, two extra pantry baskets that I had in one of the guest room closets, threw a pillow on there, a little vase and tray, the three pieces are above it. Little Studio McGee basket with some throws. Another side table that you saw me steal from another room. Layered this really cute Goodwill frame and I just printed off Collect Moments Not Things and framed it. And then put the basket, grab this comforter off of a guest bed that we don't use anymore. And then over in this little corner, I hung a hat that I had, a print that Steven and I bought at an art festival, this basket, which if you've watched a couple vlogs back, 
I got from Studio McGee and didn't know where to put it, so now I found the perfect spot. And then this is a Studio McGee ottoman. <sighs> Haven't really attacked this wall yet because, like I said, this week where I'm having this TV mounted and then I'll style the top with something and then I grabbed this stool and added it here. I feel like it feels very different. I have new curtains on the way. They're more of a tan, a little warmer, and they have like a very subtle like print to them. But I'm really happy with how this space feels and looks. It feels much different than it did. My friends, shop your house, pull things from other spaces, and you can really redesign. This literally cost me nothing to do. I made um, a keto style chili. It has no beans in it. I am gonna make a side of beans for Steven to add into his for dinner, but that is going. I'll leave the recipe that I used linked down below. It is by Suzanne Ryan, who is Keto Karma on Instagram. Love following her and her story is really inspirational. I feel like I've accomplished so much today. Like, I got things cleaned, I did the gardening, I got that guest room done way before my parents come on July 3rd. Like, I feel really good. I'm in the bathroom and I just remembered that I still had our T-bar hardware left from when I redid our kitchen and I love it and it adds like the feel that I want in here and totally changes it up. So I'm gonna take all these off and then kind of do some things in here. The hardware change out definitely made a huge difference in the bathroom. I just love how much warmth it brings. Put this rug in that used to be in the kitchen, brought this over from our bedroom because it really was serving no purpose and it looks beautiful here. Added a little basket here. This is from our bedroom. And then I have these two baskets. It's great because guests can throw something in there if they want because there isn't a ton of storage in here. But I'm super excited with how easily this room kind of came together for everyone. I am out here at our fire pit area and I really want to just clean all of this up and make this a little bit nicer of a space to use. So I want to weed all of this and just make it look a lot better. I am nervous because Steven said he planted sunflowers, but I'm not sure what's a sunflower and what's not. So he might lose some of his sunflowers. All right, I'm going to get to work, but I thought I'd show you. I'm using this edger. This is a really nice knee pad. I'll leave all of this stuff linked. I got it all on Amazon. Um, and then this is my little basket. This is from William Sonoma. Yes, they have gardening stuff. So I keep my gloves in these little pockets here. I keep this speaker um, clipped on. It's a little JBL. I'll, once again, I'll link all of this stuff. Um, these are my little pruners that I have. And then I have my gardening tools in here. And it's just nice to have everything in a way that I can just easily grab. But I'm going to get to work and we will see what progress I make. Once again, for the second or third time today, I'm a sweaty mess. I'm gonna shower after this, but I'll show you how much I got done. So you can see that I re-arched the bed and I got all the weeds gone. Um, and now I'm gonna go, we had mulch delivered. And I'm gonna go ahead and mulch this before, I'll probably add some more plants later. Um, and then luckily I'm able to haul all the extra dirt off into our woods right there, so. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go load up the wheelbarrow with mulch and keep this moving. So after an hour of some pretty hard work, this bed is completely cleaned out now. I was able to use up some of our mulch. We still have some left. I'll figure out something to do with that this week. Have all my things loaded up. I'm gonna go sit in the shade, get some water. It's so hot out. But it's nice to have this all edged and weeded. I am an utter mess. So I am going to get cleaned up. I've gotten so much done today. I think I even have dirt on my face. I am going to go ahead and wrap up this vlog because it is around 6.30. All I'm gonna do is read and crash because my body is sore. We did so much today. I moved all that furniture, cleaned the guest room, redecorated it, 
and made dinner and weeded and gardened and then redid the fire pit. So it's been a busy day. And now I'm gonna rest and relax. I want you to really think about what I said earlier. Occupy whatever lane you need to occupy, but just make sure that we do not forget what we need to do and we keep fighting and we keep, keep, keep making this a priority. All right, my friends, take care of yourself, take care of others and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.